this is this is a team, and uh, I'm I'm Si Hong, and this is Xin, and this is Tian Hao, and we will introduce our project, which is clustering based on simulation for histology images. So first, why histology images? Histology images is contains a lot of tissues, and uh, pathologists can uh, first segment histology images, then detect if there are some tumor or some diseases. And why we are interested in segment, segmentation is because pathologists segment the, the tissues and find the bone or cartilage or fat in the images. Then they detect the contamination of the images. Then do the, the classification or segmentation to identify if it is diseases or tumor or, or normal. So why we are interested in clustering is because there are a lot, sometimes the data set is very big and we are interested in uh, not only classify one image, <coughs> but we're interested in classify all the data set. So when pathologists classify one image and our platform or our system can automatically classify other images. And different from natural images, histology images are are often lying a very high dimension and there are big variants. So when we look at these two images here, there are two historic images. And uh, this purple tissue is a cartilage and it corresponding the the same tissue here. But from the image you see there's some variance. And also this region and this region are fat. Although they are in the same image, they are this, you cannot visualize it very well. And also in this image, this part is fat. So it's not a trivial problem. So then, this is our segmentation framework. So first to reduce the dimensionality, we use the super, super pixel. So we map the pixel images to a bunch of small uh, super pixels. And then we use feature extraction, which is uh, the histology, uh, histopathology features. It kind of mimic what pathologists do, and often pathologists use the background color, nuclear color, or nuclear density, or nu nuclear orientation to 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 visualize the images and do classification. So we use the same method or same vocabulary. Then here's one example of the feature. I think it's the nuclear density. N then we zoom into the the clustering method. So our clustering method, uh, the, the first we introduce the special clustering. Uh, so normally people use like k-means or hierarchical uh, clustering, but the distance, you need to initial in initialize the distance. But sometimes in a feature space, it's very hard find a robust distance metric. So in spectral clustering, people uh, map the data into a graph. And through learning a graph and learning a spectral distance in the spectral Fourier domain, and which is robust. So, but then for the spectral clustering, you also need to in initialize a local distance or a kernel function. So is there any way to like, generatively give the distance or the give the similarity me metric? So people come up with graph lasso, and uh, the sparse subspace clustering is one method. So we want to minimize the, the similarities factor subject to you want to sparsely represent each, each signal. And the estimation should be one. But there's still some, something we want to improve, which is sometimes one, one data or one node here, they form a small cliques. Sorry. Then, so we want to punish them. And sometimes one node can add to too much nodes. So we want to uh, punish both cases. So we have our uh, graph tuning. One is uh, small cliques and one is, we call it, Bad tab. And here is some result. Uh, 
So we did uh, uh, we did uh, experiments on eating histology images uh, with a size of 1200 times 1600. So, however, to evaluate our results is not an easy task because for image segmentation, we have all these labels. When we also have the ground truth with all these labels, there are so much things need to we can evaluate, like uh, pixel by pixel. We can uh, look at the boundaries. We can look at the segmentation size. There are so much things to look at, but none of us, none of these will give us enough confidence to tell like which one is better. So we decided to use full evaluation method to really verify our results. So um, for this full method, the, the, except for RI, the RI means the highest score gives us the better, better performance, while the rest of three, uh, the lower the better. So we can tell that uh, our, our results does improve the SSC. And uh, to give you a more straightforward uh, sense of what we're doing here, this is the result. This is one example of, the, of our result. This is a raw image. And this is what we call it the ground truth, which is labeled by experienced doctors. So, and uh, this is key means and hierarchy. We can tell that both key means and hierarchy misclassify the echo part, uh, which is the catalyst. And uh, to look at our method compared with the original SSC, we can tell there are two improvements. The first one is uh, inside the bones, uh, the, in the ground truth, they are not yet really out of time. You've used 10 minutes. Oh, okay. okay.